Well, good morning everyone and welcome to Edge Orchids. It's uh, Sunday today, the sun's shining. It must have been very cold last night because I've set the temperatures in the house at uh, 12 degrees and when I got up at 8 o'clock this morning the radiators were red hot. So uh, it looks like we're going to get some cold weather later this week. Anyhow, the plant you're looking at now is a... Uh, uh, Dracula Woolwardii and I must have had this four or five years and if you remember in the last one I, I think I took it uh, took it out of the pot and took all the dead leaves off but when I look again some of the bad leaves are coming back you can see them so I think this is a time to uh, get this one split so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to split this one and see how many pieces I can get out of it. So this is the plant that, if you remember, I showed you. It's 17 spikes on it, but none of them bloomed. You know, they looked like they were going to make plants, uh, make blooms, but then they just died off. And uh, I think it's it really has come time now to. Uh, to, re to split this and make some nice new uh, grow, uh, nice new plants out of it. So uh, we're going to take this out of the pot and have a good look at it. And it's planted now in uh, bark and perlite. And uh, in fact, I think I'm going to replant it in sphagnum moss and perlite. I think we'll do a better job of it. So we'll take this out of its pot now and uh, have a good look what's happening below. We'll take the, the hanger off. If I can get it off. Come on. That's it. Get this out of the pot. It's Dracula Wool Wardii. And the roots are dreadful. So it just doesn't like being a bark. This is going to take me a while to trim this up. You can see there's a lot of egg spikes as well. So how I'm going to split it, I don't know. But splitting it, it needs to be done. You should just pull apart, but this isn't doing In fact, it might be pulling the points here. Nope, I can't move it. So I'll have to fiddle with that for a bit until I can get it into a few pieces. Well, we'll keep struggling. I think it's coming now. Yep. Not easy. coming off now. There should be nice big pieces these as well. That's one. Got bad leaves on it. Apart, but in that long, 
Oh, there's another one. No, it's... Uh, this is hard work, this one. Now it's coming across now. There's another one. And this should make another two. There's another one. And I think we'll leave that like that, I think. Yep. So the thing to do now is trim all, all these pieces off. So we've got one. Two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces of Dracula Wardi. It's going to take me a long time to uh, repot these up. I'll have to find all the pots for them, but. Uh, it looks like we're going to have uh, six nice plants there, providing I uh, put them in the right media. Well, yesterday when I split these, uh, this uh, Dracula wool warning out, I made it into, I think it was, I think it finished up as eight pieces when I finished. But these need repotting now, and I'm going to repot them in uh, sphagnum moss. It's the uh, Chilean sphagnum mosses, so it shouldn't be any different anyhow, I shouldn't think, to uh, any other mosses. Uh, right, so what I've done, I've put some Chilean moss in here. It's been soaking overnight in the water, and the water, the only thing, it was RO water, and I put in uh, 15 mil of seaweed extract per gallon and I had two gallons so I put 30 mil in so uh, this is what I'm going to pot them up in and uh, then get them indoors I've made all the uh, uh, all the baskets for them and I'll show you those these are the baskets I've made for them I've made out of the ordinary uh, the pond pond water uh, plant uh, pots excuse me and uh, I've cut about seven of these. It took me about uh, two or three hours to do them, but uh, all well worth it for Draculas. So what I'll do now, I'll pop these Draculas up now and, uh, and see how we go from there. And what I'll do now, I'll get some of this uh, bark, squeeze it out, to drop in. Now just fluff it all up here. It's not that long strand stuff but uh, it's not bad. Then I'll lay that on there. And then we'll get some more. Fluff it up again, because we want to get plenty of air in here, so uh, if you, it will compact if you put too much in. So I'll cover it up outside the pot, I'll get the pot which I'm going to use. 
squeeze some more out in there. Not much, I'll just leave that quite wet. And then I'll pick all this up and just put it in there. Quite easy. Don't compact it, leave it nice and steady. I don't want to pick it up like people do, you know, they'll, they'll pick it up and say, oh, that's firm in the pot. Yeah, but it's all squeezed down too much. I'd rather let the roots do the job for me. So that's that one done, and I've got a few to do. I'll only do that one, and uh, I'll get on with moving all my plants indoors. I'll just do another one. We'll call that a day for doing this, especially on film. I've got plenty to do off film, so uh, I have a lot to do today. And I'm out for dinner tonight at the bowling club. They've just made me president. <laughs> Only because they couldn't find somebody else, I think. That's right, that's another one. Where's the pots? Here. Pick it all up in a bundle like that and just push it into there. Whoops, what have I forgotten to do? some at the bottom to make sure it's uh, it's fine and just push that into it. Yeah they're firm enough these are not falling over anything and I'm not pressing down hardly at all. So hopefully these will get some nice roots on and uh, finished this last one and I won't do any more I'll uh, carry on with moving all the plants indoors now all these are Dracula wool wardy eye so uh, I'm going to have a lot of these left so you never know if I get some good roots on I might be able to get rid of a few well this was a Dracula Bella I decided to repot was in a little small pot where you can see there's some marks on the leaves and one thing and another. So I'm going to take them off and uh, the surprise is me is, look at the spikes that were coming off it. Can you see them? All around. Loads of spikes coming off it. So I'll get that planted up and uh, we'll see how that one goes. Very pleasing. Well, I've got the bell indoors now and you can see it's nice and clean and we should be showing some nice new uh, spikes shortly, hopefully. But that's it, all done, all cleaned up, potted up and it's in the house. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, I would very much appreciate it if you did. And until next time, I'll see you later.